The areas given the OK to repopulate include Redwood Heights down to Paradise Park, a return to normalcy, sort of, for many. Action News 8 reporter Christopher Salas is live in Scotts Valley now with more reaction. And how many people got to come home in Santa Cruz tonight? Well, Aaron, as of uh, or the total number right now is more than 20,000. That's according to the Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Office of people in Santa Cruz County that can now return home. For the first time in nearly a week, the roadblocks are gone. Cars are back in town and Scotts Valley looked normal. It just made my heart pound to know that it was open. That means it's safe. Well, almost normal. Businesses were still closed as the town slowly repopulated Thursday. And when I walked in the house, all the familiar smells and I let the cats out of their crates and they were just so happy. Happiness and excitement just days after fear. When you're sitting somewhere that you think is safe and all of a sudden the wind shifts and you smell all that smoke. Wow, that's just really scary. Scotts Valley and other repopulated areas saw no impact from the CZU Lightning Complex fire. A stark difference from the nearby areas scorched by one of the most destructive fires in Santa Cruz County history. That just gives me the chills. <laughs> um, a lot of people lost their homes. So far, 745 structures have been destroyed. Many people still waiting to see if their homes are among them. As we move closer to more fire affected areas, it, it, it could be just a little longer, obviously, in the work that still has to be done in those areas. Melted roads, downed communication lines, and the risks associated once the fire is gone. It is a dangerous situation out there. We had several trees come down in the area that we were in. Not to mention dousing the remaining hot spots. Pat Cavatayo says this past week has been a stressful one, but he's just grateful his home is still standing. There's nothing like being home. They, they did a great job. Thank you, firefighters. And it is important to note that if your area has been given the OK to repopulate and you're currently staying in a hotel room via FEMA, you have to leave by tomorrow. If you'd like to see this map, these areas that have now been given the OK, we have an interactive map on our website, KSBW.com. Aaron, Dan. All right. Thank you very much, Christopher. <laughs>